So today's video is about house healing, what it is, how I do it and why do I do it. My name is Tracy Howard Tomlinson, I'm an author and a house healer and today's video is about house healing. So what is house healing? House healing is about removing stagnant dense energies and removing detrimental energies in a home and replacing them with more positive uh, balanced and peaceful energies. Now this can be done in person however people would have to live near me for me to go in person to clear the home and obviously it intrudes on the person's space and we'd have to allocate a time for me to do it. But the way that I mostly work is remotely so it works in the same way as uh, sending a distant healing, for example, and uh, sending those tuning into the person's property, clearing away any dense stagnant energies and replacing them with positive ones. I do this through connecting with my higher self, higher guidance, uh, what my teacher calls the management, uh, you may cosmic consciousness, uh, guides, uh, helpers, spirit helpers, etc. And I channel this information, I tune into the property and I channel and uh, tune into the property to detect detrimental energies. I suppose in a way it's almost like remote viewing if you've ever you've heard of remote viewing. And that effectively I suppose is what I do. So what sort of energies would I clear? Well, I can work with, uh, I can work on the people at home. So uh, I can uh, work on the chakras and the energy of the person or people that are in the house. I am a Reiki master teacher and that's uh, a, a thing that I've done many, many times. I can tune into the person and work on anything that's going on with them energetically. But I can also tune into the home and work on anything that's going energetically. It might be that there's um, residual energies or ghosts or spiritual entities that need moving on, uh, which I'm quite used to doing. I've worked on uh, my own home, uh, the story of which is on another video as to what happened to me in my old house and I worked to move these um, cold spots and spiritual en uh, entities on and move them forward. And I can do that uh, through my house healing now. So I've got great experience with that. I can also work on perhaps uh, water lines, detrimental energies going through the home. The house might be built on sacred ground as what happens a lot in America. Consecrated ground, it may be on the site of an old church or monastery. Um, there's plenty of uh, places around the area that I live that are build, built on ancient monasteries, for example. It could be a house that's built on uh, battlegrounds, which is also quite common. It could be houses that are built over water sources or uh, there's... Um, a geopathic stress, uh, anything um, that's, that's historical or in the land. It could be that the house has seen a lot of arguments or um, violence, there could be a murder in the home, or it could be something simple as a lot of arguments. You find that uh, some properties, for example, there might be people that move in quite happy, live in the home for a while and then get divorced and then the next couple move in and they get divorced etc because that house is holding that negative energy in it and as a house healer that's what I aim to move on. So I do that through going through a list of 50 specific points and going through a specific process in removing those energies and putting in positive ones. To do this, I tune into the property and I use uh, dozing rods and uh, a, uh, a pendulum, 
uh, various dozing tools to uh, tune into the property and tune into the people that are there and to help uh, move on uh, dense stagnant energies and replace them with more positive and uplifting ones. Now it's I have done a few of these now and it's very surprising what I can pick up and how it resonates with the people that are in the home. For example, uh, I did a property recently where I detected something going on in the wall of the property and that there had been an argument. And when I gave the report back to the person whose house I uh, did the house healing on, it transpired that where I picked it up uh, on the property, it, it was actually a sash window that had been broken for 40 years and her and her husband had had a, a massive argument about it. And unfortunately, it was only until he was deceased that uh, the lady actually got it fixed. So it's amazing what sort of things that I can pick up on, even if I'm doing it remotely. It's like remote viewing. It, uh, I'm sending distant Reiki healing into the home. So it can be done over a long distance. So I can do properties uh, anywhere in the world, different time scales. And the benefit of that is as well, I can spend quite some time working on the home and tuning into the home because obviously this sort of thing sometimes sometimes you might start it and you might have to break off and go back into it again um, because it could might take a few days um, to really home into the property and to pick up on anything detrimental that's happening there and then also working to clear those detrimental energies away. So that's basically what I do as a house healer. Now I tune into the properties, as I say, by tuning into um, the, the management, them upstairs, and being guided as to what needs clearing away, what's detrimental and what needs healing. So I use tools to um, tune in, such as dozing rods and pendulums. And this can be done over a period of time, as I've said. It also helps that I'm not intruding into somebody's space and not uh, interfering with their uh, daily lives. So how's it done? It's done, as I said, with pendulums, but I go through a 50 point process. And what I find is marked up on a floor plan so the client will send me a floor plan of the property um, sometimes I get a, an area road plan as well which I can also work on uh, and a plan of the garden and to use that um, to tune in with my dozing to find out what's going on in the property I'll mark those on the floor plan and then I will uh, write up a report for the person. These reports are quite in depth. They can be anything from 22 pages onwards. And also uh, like with recommendations um, and points uh, to, to help the person and people in the property and help to clear the detrimental energies, hopefully leaving a positive healthy and happy home and also uh, affecting positively the well-being of the people in the home. So why do I do it? Uh, as a healer and a Reiki practitioner you can work on a person and help to heal their energies but then you're sending them back perhaps into a home that isn't conducive of a happy healthy environment it's a bit like when people have an argument if you somebody's had an argument in a room and you walk into that room uh, and this happens to me at work when people have had arguments in the office 
that you walk into the room and you can automatically sense the atmosphere in the home. Um, so if you heal a person and then they're going into a home where that dense energy, negative energy is, then that's not doing them any favours, is it? So it, it is working on clearing those energies out and imbuing them with positive, uplifting energies. So how did I get to house healing? Well, it's been a very long journey for me. Um, I am, as I've said, I'm a Reiki practitioner, but it all started for me many, many years ago. And this, uh, more in detail is it, it, of this story is in uh, another video. Uh, but we moved into a home uh, that had a spirit in it and had a cold spot and I felt watched all the time. And this energy didn't really clear until we'd been in the home for a, a couple of years. But the home itself for me was what I would call a bad luck home. We had uh, health struggles, financial struggles, we had... We had uh, horrible neighbours that moved uh, in the vicinity, all our nice neighbours moved out, we had horrible neighbours that moved uh, both sides of us, they were just awful and uh, everything from the moment we bought the house up until the moment I started changing things within the home, everything just went pear shaped but like I said this is detailed in another video but from there I started looking into feng shui, the art of placement, energy within the home, how to improve the energy and from there I went on to meditation and also uh, learning first of all as a spiritual healer and then I went on to Reiki as well. So I sort of like look on house healing is a bit like Reiki for the home but it's not strictly that but you get the idea as to what sort of things uh, I do. So I hope that's explained the process of uh, house healing and what it is and what it's about. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. And if you're watching this on YouTube as well, you can comment underneath uh, and get in touch with me that way. Okay, and I shall be doing some more videos uh, discussing what house healing is, etc. in future. So if you've watched to the end, thank you very much um, and um, I'll see you again soon.